Hey guys, welcome to Tech Time. This week I'm going to talk about using uh, contact mics, piezo mics in sound design. And some fun techniques for that. A yeah, contact mic is basically just a little piezo speaker. Uh, they're super cheap. You can uh, I got a uh, hundred of these for like fifteen dollars off of eBay. You just take the red wire and connect it to the tip of a cable and the black wire and connect it to the ring and then you plug it in your mixer, turn up the gain, tape that down to something and that something becomes a uh, instrument. I personally don't really care to to use these little speakers this way because it's just a pain in the ass. It's, they're super delicate and they're always, you know, no matter how well you put it together, it's coming apart in the middle of a session, something's broken. Uh, and also these little tiny ones, they don't pick up the low end very well. There are some purpose-built options for that. There are a whole lot of high-end contact mics. This particular one is my favorite. Uh, this is the Barkisberry Planner Wave. It's a piano and harp pickup. Uh, you'd basically just peel off that double-sided tape, put it on the piano, on the piano harp or on the harp resonator, and uh, go to town. It runs off of phantom power and it has a monitor, a quarter inch monitor output. As long as this thing, this box is getting phantom, that quarter inch output is live and it has a uh, volume for that, which is really handy because you can send that to guitar pedals and such like. It's got a ground lifter, uh, got a pad, all in all, a really nice piece of gear. This brass transducer here. It really picks up a nice full range of audio. And another option is this little fella here. Uh, these guys, they come from some rando Chinese company. It's the model P007. Uh, comes with a little clippy and some Velcro sticky shit. Some words of wisdom there. It is better than normal recording studio and it is the best choice for DIY CD of players. Hashtag studio goals. Anyhow, uh, as you can see it's got some double stick tape on it and a quarter inch output. It's all pre-made. The difference between this Barkus Berry uh, piano pickup and this little hack job here is $273. This is $275. This is $2. You get a five pack with free shipping off of Amazon for 11 bucks. Is this a hundred times better than this? I wouldn't say so. It's better but uh, not a hundred times better. Um, that said, if you're a pro, you want to have the Pro Tools. Uh, if you're going to use this technique a lot, then you're going to want the right thing for the job. Alright, let's give this a spin. I've got this hooked up to a small modular rig. Uh, let me just peel this off of here. Now, I made this specifically for sound design. I welded together this one inch steel into this frame so I could hold a bunch of different size springs. And uh, it's, uh, it's not as handy as I thought it would be, but it's still kind of fun. It mostly just hangs on the wall. All right, so I got the sticky side off of the cheap piezo. I'm going to just stick it to that. Now, it's running right into a uh, Circuit Abbey Axis, which is actually a guitar preamp for modular. But it, uh, it's kind of handy for this sort of stuff because it's got an EQ on it. So we just turn it on. So there's a lot of different kind of tonal possibilities. Now uh, you really get the benefit of this sort of shit when you have a lot of effects in your modular. If your modular is just a synth, uh, this won't be very useful. Basically all you can do is filter, but if you have a bunch of effects, then you're good to go. 
So from the uh, axis, I'm going to uh, Audio Damage Shapes, which is a uh, you know, a distortion module, a wavetable lookup, algorithms, blah blah blah. And I'm using that to give it some gain and uh, saturation. And then that's going to a Spectre for uh, FFT freeze, and then to a stereo reverb, and then out to the mixer. So. Obviously it's going to be pretty noisy, but we're really looking for sounds, not... Can, uh, you can see pretty wacky shit going on with uh, just $2 piezo, three effects. That's all you need. Alright, for this example, I've got the Barkus Berry pickup stuck right to my desk. My desk is stainless steel, so it's a pretty good surface for this sort of thing. Uh, put the track into record. You can hear. Take that and I convert it to a simpler and then turn the simpler into slicing. Go to note.
there you go. You get the general idea. So it's pretty easy to come up with quick little grooves and whatnot with this sort of tool set, but obviously there's way, you can go way beyond it. Go back into record. Get rid of that first one. There you go, instant uh, contact mic dubstep.